person that says someone who started the word gender revolution, I'm pretty sure, is Pornstein. No! Right? Kate Pornstein is an author, a playwright, a performance artist, whose work to date has been in service of sex positivity, which we are in favor of. Yes! Gender anarchy, which we're really in favor of. And building coalition to people on the cultural margins. Her work recently earned her an award from the Stonewall Democrats of New York City. That's one of our less fucked up political parties in the U.S. Ish. Sort of. And citations from New York City council members. Her latest book, Hello Cruel World, 101 Alternatives to Suicide, for Teens, Freaks, and Other Outlaws. I know the, I know the title was published in 2007, according to daily email and Twitter. The book is still helping people stay alive. Kate's memoir, A Queer and Pleasant Danger, a title that I had always hoped to use, is due out in 2012. Oh, you ready? I know you were born ready. Oh, no. Can we get a can we get a little sound for Kate? Hi. Yeah. Hey, a noise for Kate. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, thank you very very much. I I don't get asked to talk at many Pride events. Uh, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, mm. It's because I I usually don't know what to be proud of. Um. I'm from America, and in America, we're supposed to be proud of being sponsored by Bud Light. I'm not proud of that. Uh, in America, hello. Don't in have America, it. we're supposed to be proud of having not only corporate sponsors, but we're supposed to be proud that we're fitting our life into a sex negative gender binary. I don't want that. I don't want a pride day that would make Rob Ford and Stephen Harper feel comfortable. I don't want a pride day like that. I want to get back to a pride day that's about having great sex and looking fabulous. That's why I'm proud to be here now. Now, I came out in the 80s, and this was the beginning of what they used to call gay pride. There, oh yeah, uh, the transgender wasn't a word, trans wasn't a fucking word. You can tell I don't talk much at pride to get to ask to do too many pride stuff if I'm doing a kind of a political speech. I'm sorry. That's okay! We had rainbow flags as far back as the 80s, but the rainbow flags never really included us. So what we did as trans people is we, we made ourselves allies to lesbians and gay men. That was cool. They were cool people to be allies with in those days. Because their identities most nearly matched our own. And we overlap at an area of desire. And this is getting back to the good fucking and the good looking part. That's our history. I want to talk about how to make our lives more worth living as trans people. I want to talk about what is the future of a trans politic that's a fuck of a lot more inclusive than it has been. And it's already a lot more inclusive up here in Canada than it is in the States. Yay! So please give yourself a There are three areas of life I want you to think about, please, that make life more worth living. That is identity, desire, and power. I identity, who are you? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to look like? Who do you, I'm, I'm Sweetie Pie. 
385. Let's have a conversation later. But let me, let me talk. I love you. Okay. So who do you want to be? Who do you want to look like? Who's your role model? Who do you want to be a role model for? This is identity. Desire, easy. Who do you want to fuck? Who do you want to fuck you? Do you want to fuck at all? Because asexuality is a perfectly valid sexual orientation. It is. And then there's power. Power is not this whole notion of the ability to do work. That's a physics definition. Power, I'm going to take a social justice... Hello? A social justice definition and call power our access to resources. How much access to the resources do you have to make life more worth living? So identity, desire, and power. The more you reach, the more we all reach, those the better and more worthwhile life is. So politics is like that because politics is supposed to make life more worth living. For tens of thousands of years, we've had an identity, a politic of power. You've got a politic of power in the person of Ralph Ford, Stephen Harper. This is where a very few people control all the resources, and we get very little of it, because we're down at the bottom of the fucking barrel. Then along came democracy, and democracy was a big fucking deal. Democracy was the first pow uh, politic of identity. If you had an identity that people could realize, and people could say, yeah, you're real. Yeah, okay, you get a vote. Yeah, we believe in you. But that, that's wasted away. Democracy has, it's wasted away into pretty much nothing. You can buy democracy if you have enough money. So we've had a power, a politic of power and a politic of identity. We've never yet had a politic of desire, a politic of love, and that's where I think trans comes in. There are three barriers to a trans politic based on desire. That is sex negativity. Any culture that diminishes anything to do with sex or being sexy. There's the gender binary, there's two and two only. And for centuries, humanity has carved itself up into little bitty pieces using oppressions such as gender, sexuality, race, age, class, ability, looks, religion, citizenship, ecology and geography, and family and reproductive status. These are all hierarchies. Present, representing themselves as binaries. All right, let's get down to it. The basis of a new trans politic. Morgan, are you here now? Is Morgan who spoke earlier here? Morgan was talking about the need for inclusion. And we need to include anyone who is breaking the gender binary in any way, shape, or form, no matter what else they're doing, and welcome them as family. The only, the only rules, the only guidelines for membership in a trans community is don't be mean, don't be mean, and use generously any privilege that you've got. So we are welcoming anyone who is sex positive, sex inclusive, and of course, anyone who's into any kind of gender anarchy. Look, we call ourselves the T in LGBT, etc. We are so much more than that. LGBT is not big enough anymore to include all the fabulous people I'm looking at right now. I'm going to go through about 30 or 40 other letters real quick. And these are just 
The first ones I thought as I was writing down. We got a B for bisexual, a P for pansexual. We got an A for asexual. Yeah, we got an L for the lesbians, but we gotta have a D for dykes. We got a T for transgender, but we need a T for two-spirit. We need a G for gender queer. It's a whole new deal. Yeah, we can have a G for gay. But we need an F for faggots. Faggots are fucking gay. I want a Q for queer. I want a Q for questioning because in this fucking world we live in, anyone who's questioning their sex and their gender is brave and they're a member of my family. I want another Q for queer heterosexuals. So what? I mean, you know, this, so what? So what? That's cool. That's very cool. There are a lot of sex positive, sex inclusive, gender anarchy, heterosexual people. And the same way that there are a lot of sex negative, sex exclusive, and gender rigid lesbians, gays, transgenders, and bisexuals. So I want the queer heterosexuals in my club. I want an A. I want an A for adult entertainers. I want an S for sadomasochists. That's me. I want another S for sex workers. Let's stop this shit. Come on, we've got to welcome anyone whose identity is based in sex and gender. And that includes sex workers. I want another S for swingers. They didn't all die in the 80s. I want a D for drag queens. I want a D for drag kings. I want another D for all drag fuck royalty. I want an I for intersex. Yeah. I want an F for feminists. Yeah. I want another F for fairies. Yeah. Another F for furries. Yeah. I want another F for femmes. Yeah. I want a B for butches. I want a B for bears. And bear. I want a B for boys. I want an M for men who have sex with men. Any way they call it, that's what they're, they're part of our club. I want a W for women who have sex with women. I want. I want a K for kinky. Yeah. I want a P for polyamory. Yeah. I want a P for pornographers. Yeah. I want another P for porn stars. Yeah. I do. I want an ETC for etc. Yeah. And that means anyone who embraces sex positivity, sex inclusion, and gender anarchy, and that means two more categories. An AI for ad infinitum, and are there any nerds and geeks here? Yeah. Okay, one more AI for queer artificial intelligence. <laughs> you know that's gonna happen. That's the kind of community we're building. That's who we are, and we need to start speaking that. I think that the trans world and trans pride means taking pride in all of our family. And now that we're as strong as we are, we need to welcome all these other people into our fucking tent. We know how to do love. We know how to do sex. We know how to do sexy. Now we know how to take apart a fucking binary. And that's our value 
to a larger coalition of the margins. And that's what I think we bring to the round table, and that's why I'm so proud of us. Bless your heart, bless it be.